This is T Mike's Vintage Outboards. Please click on subscribe. I promise to produce weekly videos to keep you updated. Thanks. Hello, Vintage Outboard Motor Fans. This is T Mike. And today I'm making a video on how to use a timing light to run trouble on an issue with your motor. So this motor runs good, but it spits and it coughs and then it'll just hesitate, hesitate and then go again. So I'm, I'm guessing it is a spark problem on one cylinder, not firing, causing it to run on one cylinder. If not, it could be a carburetor issue with a clogged jet, but I'm guessing that it's gonna be sparked. So I'm gonna show you how to test for a missing spark for the timing light. Like an automotive timing light. It's very inexpensive at Napa or AutoZone or on eBay, $20, $30. I have it connected to 12 volts on my lawnmower battery right here so that I can check. And you just take the other end of it and put it on one spark plug lead at a time and then shoot it the light on the flywheel and when it, when it starts to miss if you see the light going away that's the side that's not putting out the spark so if you're ready here we go see if i can get her started Smoking is an indication that it's not firing on both cylinders because it can't burn the oil and the gas, so it's smoking, excessive smoke. So I'm going to shoot the cylinders one, one at a time, see if I can see a difference. I don't know if you can see the light, but it's pretty steady. It's not missing very often bottom cylinder. Now I'm going to shoot the top. And I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll try to get you up closer, but this is the side that has a trouble. Top cylinder. Light gets dim, it's not as bright, and it pulses. You can see it. You can see it pulsing when it's spinning. See the light just got bright right there because it's running good. When it starts to run bad, the light goes dim and it starts to spit. As, as the engine spits, the light is in a bit. So the trouble is with the spark in the top cylinder. I'm gonna fix that trouble and then add to this video show you how it's running good and I'll find out what the problem is. Stay tuned. So I took the magneto, exposed magneto by taking off the rewind starter and the flywheel and I looked at the settings for the points, the timing was right and I, all I did was clean with a, a contact file and some fine sandpaper. Clean the points on actually both sides and Guess what? This is what I saw when I ran the timing light again. showing you how to use a timing light to fix a spark problem with your vintage outboard. In this case, it was just dirty points. I took the uh, rewind starter off, the flywheel off, got in there and filed down the points and used some fine sandpaper to clean them, put it back together, and it runs beautiful right now. Easy fix when you have the right tools, the timing light. So if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. 
I'm making a promise now to put out at least one video a week to help everybody out there enjoy their hobby. Thank y'all so much. Enjoy. Au revoir. Les ailes les bon temps roulé. Here she is, a 1960 5.5 horsepower Evan Ruth. Test run in Lake Martin.